スタートしましたまずスタンド前先行争いになるのかすんなりとマグナーテンが主導権を取るのかまだ並んでいますゆったりとした流れでマグナーテンがどうやら主導権を取るのか内からイリジスティブルジュエル先行策を伺いますがすんなりと内にコースを取ってマグナーテンが先手を取りましたイリジスティブルジュエルゴーランが早部3番手に上がりました成田トップロード4番手あとはアグレスフライトアメリカンボスパルブラックインディジナスがこの辺り先段グループごった返していますさあ56番手の集団が横に大きく広がってさあ後続を引き連れて1コーナーを回ったところでマグナーテン先頭2馬身のリード2番手には黒い帽子2頭ゴーランイリジスティブルジュエル第2コーナーのカーブに向かってここは緩い直線になりますあと4番手4番手は赤い帽子2頭そのうちにインディジナスが盛り込んでインディジナスその外にはアメリカンボスが追走で5番手ファルブラックそして外からアグレスフライトが追走で先段グループ2コーナーを回っていきましたその直後に接近してシンボリクリス・エスはちょうど真ん中中段を進んでいますその後ろまで成田トップロードは控えましたいいシンボリクリス・エスを内に押し込めるような形その外にストーミングホーム向こう上面に入って残り 1000m を切りましたあとはノーリーズンがこの有力馬の固まったすぐ直後を追走していますノーリーズンそしてブライトスカイが徐々に上がっていきました後方に下がってテイエムオーシャンそして最高峰待機最高峰にジャングルポケット外のエアシャカールと並んでいっていますさあ3コーナーを回っていってマグナーテンが引っ張ります1馬身半のリードいいペースよどみないペースで引っ張って残り600切りましたイリディシティブルジエルそして外からはゴーランさらにアメリカンボスが上がって3頭2番手は広がりましたさらに内からはインディジェナス外から各馬接近してまいりますが一気にテイエモーシャンが大外から上がってきた成田トップロードと並んでその内からはシンボリクリスエス4コーナーカーブから直線コースにファルブラフも真ん中をついているさあ先頭最内に突っ込んだのはサラファン先頭はマグナーテン粘るまあ、ファルブラフ追い込んで200を切った内からサドファンインディーでなす外からシンボリクリスエスがまとめて捉えるかファルブラフが先頭ファルブラフイタリアのファルブラフだ外からシンボリクリスエスサラファンが内から追い詰めてゴールインサラファン届いたかファルブラフなんとかこの追い込みをしのいだか手を挙げたのはサラファン Lined up, gates are back, they're away. Del Sar to hold that tiger a little slow out, so too was Comfy as they race away. And Victory Moon for South Africa is one of the first to bound on. Falbrev over on the far side, the yellow cap, and Isdaham, Nayef's pacemaker, now showing a lot of early pace to chunk and head the lot off. It's Isdaham that leads from Nayef moving into second place. Victory Moon is close on the inside third. Then Narrative, the white cap of Godolphin in fourth place. Balestrini is through. To fifth. Next is Del Sart, wider Falbrav, and then in the midfield is Islington as they race down the back straight towards the rear. Olden Times, Brandera is held up at the moment, hold that tiger and comfy as the back marker as they race towards the end of the back straight. And Isdaham has gone tearing off here, followed in second by Godolphin's pacemaker, narrative, a very strong gallop. Dutch Gold is handy on the inside, Islington moves handy too. In the striped cap, Naif, right on terms. Balestrini and Del Sart in the green obliged to race. A bit wide. Falbrav is up the inside next of North Dancer as they begin to turn right handed at the bottom end.、Uh, in the midfield at this stage,、uh, Victory Moon up the inside, then Grandera towards the back hold that Tiger Olden Times and Comfy. On turning in is Isdaham. The hare and the one to catch his rider steals a peep there. Does Willie Supple sees where Nayef is? Nayef is being punched along in about fourth or fifth place. Isdaham has four lengths on them. Narrative wide. Nayef begins to Gage top gear now behind these foul b r a v going strongly as well. Islington up the inside, wider out North Dancer now unleashing a run in the purple jacket as they run down inside the final quarter mile. Foul b r a v first run on Nayef. Nayef will have to fight hard here. Islington is third, then North Dancer Kaiter from the rear with Olden Times, but it's Foul b r a v pulling away from Nayef. He's not making any inroads to favourite. Third is Islington Kaiter. Comfy runs on with Olden Times, racing up towards the line. Foul b r a v by a length and a half. Off. Nayef begins to whittle away in the lead, but it could be too late. Falbrav all out from Nayef. Falbrav holds Nayef to win the eclipse and a bunch for third with k a t e r on the outside of Olden Times. A blinding run from Victory Moon for South Africa. Right alongside Islington, then came Hold That Tiger. Grandera never showed Balestrini, Comfy, and Dutch Gold. Then back to North Dancer, Del Sart, Isdaham, and Narrative. One, two in the early stages. 
eventually finish last. Yeah, for top three in the betting, it's 12 to 1, bar that trio. Calaman is unsettled in the stalls and dwelt slightly, as did Indian Creek, as they break away with a mile and a quarter plus half a furlong to cover. And is Deham, Nayef's pacemaker, is sent straight into a lead and bursts away from Nayef in second place in the blue and white striped cap. Wide of that is Mingan, a bit keen, followed by Falbrav on the inside, and then the green jacket of the Aga Carnival. Calaman lies fifth, just ahead of Norse Dancer Magistretti in Indian Creek, sulking through the first furlong and a half. Is being scrubbed along by Richard Quinn, but so he was when he won at Royal Ascot. It's Isdeham, possibly too quick here, gone five or six legs ahead. They're not really chasing him at the moment, but it is a good gallop. Nayef in second place there, heads the chasing pack, followed by Mingan. On the inside, the yellow armlets aboard Falbrav, worn by Daryl Holland. Calaman is next under Christoph Sumion as they reach the far side and turning left handed at the bottom bend towards the rear at this stage. His Norse dancer won from last Magistretti just in front of him, and Indian Creek is last of all about 10 or 12 off this leader. It's still Isdeham here playing the hare by two and a half lengths to Nayef in second place. Mingan is third. Falbrav getting a lovely run through round the inside. Goes a bit uh, shorter route than he did at Ascot last time. Calaman is next from Magistretti, then a couple of lengths to Norse Dancer, and finally at the back, Indian Creek. Passing the half mile, and Isdeham is now being joined almost by his stable mate Nayef. Nayef bridges that gap, then Mingan is third. Falbrav travels well on their heels. Calaman out wide, now being scrubbed along, followed by Norse Dancer, and then Magistretti on the far side, and Indian Creek. Isdeham has gone, but now Falbrav takes on Nayef, and Falbrav, as at Sandown, is too quick for Nayef at this stage inside the final quarter, and Falbrav really quickened up there. Nayef, no response. Magistretti is next. Mingan, Calaman can't get there. Indian Creek is running on well, but they have to go to catch Falbrav inside the final furlong. He's four lengths clear. Magistretti stays on well. Falbrav, too classy. It's Falbrav will win the Jumpmon International. Magistretti in second. Nayef third. Then Mingan, followed home by Indian Creek. Next was Norse Dancer. Calaman brutally exposed. Beat only one. Isdaham last and a long last at that. Well, Falbrav, given a fairly eccentric ride at uh, Ascot last time when seeking better ground. Conditions perfect for him on the Naysmire today. Fast. They're ready. Kevin Darley shouting. Set and racing. Norse Dancer just missed the kick slightly. Falbrav began well up on the outside. Russian Rhythm holds her position on the inner. And the pacemaker Blayton going on here. And Falbrav up on the outside, racing a bit fiercely early. Uh, Where a win just in behind them from Dubai destination. Russian Rhythm, the inside, just preceding them. They're followed by Soviet Song, who's out the back in the early stages with Tilleman and Norse Dancer. Blayton, the leader on settling, but not a blistering pace. Held together past the six, leads by two lengths. To Felbrav is striding out a bit better second now from Dubai destination. Then where a winner's trapped a bit wide from Russian Rhythm and Soviet Song and Tilleman as they continue their climb up towards the entrance to the home straight. And it's blatant the leader on the inside from Dubai destination in the Royal Blue, Frankie Dettori. Then Felbrav who's on his inside now. Further back in the field then is where a winner's trapped out wide. Russian Rhythm is behind them from Soviet Song and then Tilleman and Norse Dancer as they swing the corner. And and the leader here on the far side, the pacemaker, Blayton, now kicking for home. Goes two lengths in front of Falbrav, who's got him well within his sights. Dubai destination shaken up. Russian rhythms emerging as a threat. Followed then by Soviet Song and Guerra went down the outside, but inside the two, he says, go on, Falbrav. Moves up on the outside, grabs the leader in a stride. Russian rhythms, the big danger. Followed then by Tilleman. It's Falbrav in front. Russian rhythm puts her head down. She's trying to wear down this leader, but Falbrav's at a little bit too classy. He might be the best horse in the world. He's drawing away Falbrav and wins the QE2 in good style. Comes back for the mile and a quarter. It's Falbrav who wins from Russian Rhythm and Tilleman. Blatant behind them from Soviet Song. Further back in the field, where all went from North Dancer and Dubai Destination has finished near last. In from last year, Magnetensian, they're all ready. Stand by for a start. 
and they're away in the cup. Asian Preston, blue stitch fade back a bit. Away well, weightless, elegant fashion lands there. Self flit and Dano Mast wants a forward spot. Denon's dropping back, Falbrab getting in, Dr. Moore behind it, Magna 10 trying to drop in. Weightless leads, Dano Masters easing back, trying to get onto the back of the leader he's going to. Self flit ends up outside him. Elegant fashion travels in four, gets off the rail. Magna 10 is caught three deep from Blue Stitch. Dr. Moore, Falbrab travelling sweetly at the mile. In midfield, only six off the leaders. Denon's outside him. Bright Sky follows the favourite Falbrab. Asian Preston off it, so they're set up within a few lengths of each other. Rakti underneath that group. Then Precision and last of all, Tiger Tail. In front, Weightless, Self Flit Keen second. Dano Mars third. Magna 10 three deep in four. Adigan Fashion right there, two lengths to Nelly. Dr. Moore and Blue Stitch. Falbrav off it at the 1200 from Denon. Bright Sky, Asian Preston. Rakti's improving on the inside, sneaking up the runners. He's been able to slide up midfield on the rail. Bright Sky shifted out a bit, so Rakti got right up underneath Falbrav. Precision and last of all, Tiger Tail. They're past halfway, 900 to go. Weightless from Self Flit. Magna 10, one off the leaders, three deep. Dano Mars behind them from Adigan Fashion. Blue Stitch, Dr. Moore next. Falbrab travels well. We wait and see. Rakti underneath him. Bright Sky fudders them. Denon's gone. Asian Preston off it, followed by Precision. Tiger Tail off the bridle last. Still weightless leads at the 600. It's had a good trip. Self Lit moves closer. Adigan Fashion travels well. Magna 10, Dano Mars, Dr. Moore, Blue Stitch next. Falbrab four off the leaders, starting to switch through. Rakti's at shadow. Bright Sky keeps it in. Rakti goes to the inside. The runs come. They're four off the leaders. Elegant fashion. The lady goes to self flit. Now Falbrab, Rakti come through. Dr. Moore, Blue Stitch, Bright Sky behind them. Falbrab and Rakti wind up. This is what it's about. Falbrab sprouts wings at the 150. Away goes a champion. Two lengths in front. Rakti Elegant fashion for the minor. What a swan song. Say goodbye to a star. Falbrab by two lengths to Ratke, elegant fashion third, Tiger Tail four, a long break, Dr. Moore, Asian Preston couldn't come on. Next in self flit, Tiger Tail, followed by Blue Stitch Precision, dropping back Magna 10, also drifting back in the field, weightless, Dano Mast, and Denon dropped out one of the last horses. What a big moment. We know he's a star. He's outstanding at 2,000 metres or 10 furlong. The world watching, hoping he'd do it, and he has. Big margin. Rakti came with him. It was just set up perfectly. He travelled in midfield. Rakti slid up at the halfway mark. He was underneath him on the fence. They were together. There was to be no excuses for either one of them if they got a clear trip on the circle. They did. They got the runs together. Falbrav showed the turn of foot to state him as a champion, and he sprinted away. Number two, Rakti was there, couldn't draw with him. And 13, Elegant Fashion, who had a forward sit, has run in third. Frankie Dettori, he is a star. He's a story in himself, but his weekend last year in Japan to take the Japan Cup dirt and the Japan Cup with this horse involved, he highlighted that as one of his greatest days racing. Well, surely he'd be absolutely thrilled and compare this to be a huge moment for him.